Okay, welcome back. So we're on step seven or lecture seven of order the cash business process. So we went over creating sales order, doing the availability check, creation of outbound delivery document, picking and packing, posting goods issue, and transportation. And now we're at billing stage. So billing process. What is billing process? So billing process is basically a final stage for the sales order processing. And this within billing process, it basically helps to generate invoices. And we'll talk about the difference between invoice and billing in a second. And then another thing you can do is create credits and debit memos within billing process. Or if you need to cancel previously posted billing document, you can also do that during billing process. And all of these information that's created within the billing document is eventually going to go to accounting department. And so we talked about billing document versus invoices. What are the differences? So billing document is basically a sales and distribution document while invoice is a document for accounting department so again billing document is for sales and distribution document and invoice is an accounting document so all of your information from billing document it's actually you're getting that data from your sales order or and the delivery document during the sales and distribution process and all of these items or the data that you have on there will eventually go to accounting department and, and allow them to be able to create the invoice that gets sent out to the customers also when you create billing document it's also going to update specific general accounts general ledger accounts that needs to be updated and hence the accounting would be able to keep track of revenues and costs now two things that you need to memorize again what does creating billing document do so when you create a billing document it's going to make a debit posting on customers receivables account again i'll repeat debit posting on customer receivables account another thing it's going to do is it's going to credit posting on the revenue account again it's going to make a credit posting on revenue account now when the invoice is finally created by the accounting department and we'll talk about more about invoice and financials once we get to the accounting side but as far as for this particular process and section just know that when an accounting department creates an invoice for the customer they can create one invoice for per delivery or they can also group multiple deliveries into one billing document or one invoice so if you want to create one invoice for multiple deliveries some of the things that or the characteristics they have to be shared by these different deliveries and they would have to be the payer has to be same billing date has to be same and destination country and with the sap system it can create invoices online or automatically in background during off-peak hours Okay, so this wraps up the lecture seven billing of order to cash business processes. We're almost there. We have one more step to go, which is payment processing. That should be lecture eight. And that should finish up the entire order to cash business processes.